guys, it's Summer. Welcome to your daily Twin Flame Energy Read. I hope everyone's doing well. So today I'm going to do the weekly forecasted energy for couples separated and communicating, okay? Couples that are separated on the Twin Flame journey but are in communication, okay? Doesn't matter how minimal or how much you're communicating. Still in this category. Okay, so let's go ahead. Um, first, I'm going to do the overall theme for the Divine Masculine and Feminine with this new deck. Yes, it's tarot, but it has a little bit different sexual meaning, so forgive me for looking it up in the book. Okay, overall theme for the Divine Masculine for this week, please. A couple separated and communicating, please. Divine masculine, couple separated and communicating. Okay, so this is already telling me the divine masculine is not being very communicative this week. So we have the divine masculine, seven of swords. Divine feminine, please. Divine feminine, thank you. Wow, seven of wands. You guys, you guys are mirroring each other with the sevens. Um, progression, evaluating, reevaluating, assessing your life. Now, in both aspects, I already see that the feminine in both frames have their back turned to the divine masculine. The, the Divine Masculine um, has his head down in both pictures. And the Divine Feminine has her back turned in both pictures uh, towards the Divine Masculine. So, wow. What a way to get started, huh? Okay, so let's look up um, the Seven of Swords for this deck for the Divine Masculine. Here we go. Let's see if we can get this to focus. Seven of Swords. You see the Divine Masculine and you see the Divine Feminine with her back turned. Okay, so this card is all about tasting is what it says. And it also indicates the magic of the seven red tulips, if you can see those in the background. And what this card indicates and says <clears throat> is this is the... Oh, blah, blah, blah. Only the beginning is not enough, but it is a beginning. Not every seed can ripen in one day. This is why you must preserve. Okay? So, to me, <clears throat> this is the divine masculine and feminine being uh, not being on the same page. Okay? Um, it's like they're starting over. They're not very good at communication. They started over um, with trying to communicate. And it's like the Divine Masculine took a step forward towards her. But that's all he did. And then he stopped. And this is saying the Divine Fem Feminine turning her back and saying, No, that's not enough. You brought me flowers. And now you sit here and don't do anything else. You can't speak to me. You can't have sex with me. You're not communicating with me. And this is the Divine Masculine over here over here, feeling um, naked and kind of taken advantage of. Like, I've done this for you, um, and now you still have your back turned to me. What else can I do? So this is him over here, still not trying to communicate. Still, um, this is basically him preserving the rest of his energy. Because in his eyes, this is what he thought is all he had to do. Was kind of dipping his toes in the sand or tasting a little bit of being um, that divine masculine. Of being 
what he thought the divine feminine wanted. And she's like, no, um, I want, I want the full enchilada. Um, you can't just fake your emotions with flowers and not do anything else. I want good communication. I want us to grow and expand. I want this day to day. I don't want it every once in a while. You know, what good is flowers if you don't even tell me you love you? What good is flowers if you can't even lay in bed and hold my hand and touch my hair and touch my body? And so this is the Divine Masculine retreating to his own corner and preserving his energy and trying to figure out how do I get to this Divine Feminine? How do I get her from tur not turning her back on me anymore? What can I do to get her to look in my eyes? And he's still looking down. You notice he's not even looking up. The Divine Masculine needs to look up. So, then we have, for the Divine Feminine, Seven of Wands. If I can find it, that's Pinnacles. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. Ooh. So seven of wands, the divine feminine. As we see again, you know, this time she's hugging the masculine or allowing to be hugged and he's touching her back. Um, but she still has her back turned, which, which kind of tells me she still um, isn't very forthcoming. Now this card indicates whispering and it says the magic of the lizard. So there's a lizard um, somewhat behind her. The, and that represents like green, um, reptilian, needing warmth to survive. Green also, um, you know, represents like the ripening of fruit or the, um, the blooming of the seed. You know, when the seasons change, like right now, everything's turning green and, and ripening and blooming. Now, this whispering card indicates doubts and suspicions dissolve in the sunlight. Clarity illuminates feelings and situations. Now, this is the Divine Feminine um, going to sleep at night, feeling lonely, and not having that warmth and that touch, and, and wanting to really lay it to rest. And this is her waking up in the morning and having a brand new outlook on everything. And, and still wanting and still trying for that, that touch with the masculine. And see how she always, like it looks like she's just burying her head in him. Like, I love you. Like you're, you know, this is like a, a security hug that she's trying to give him with burying her head. And you see how he still doesn't have a good grip on her like she wants him to, she's all over him, and he's barely, he's like touching her, like almost patting her on the back, and she's wanting to be embraced, she's wanting that warmth of what the lizard is showing on the warm rock, she's trying to get that, but yet she can't have it, and I think this is why they're mirroring each other, and why she has her back turned, because she's like, why can't you give me your full love, you can do and mirror and mimic all the things but yet can't connect, physically connect. You can't physically or mentally connect. You can give me flowers, but you can't fully hug me. You can embrace me naked, but can't even give me a kiss on, you know, kiss on the lips. So this is where you see the two sevens. Evaluating is the feminine. And the masculine, preserving, preserving energy. And pondering. Wow, you guys, what amazing cards to start off with. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to full up um, what the present energy is for the divine masculating, masculating, masculine couples separated and communicating. Please, spirit. Emasculating. <laughs> Maybe that's what some of you guys are doing is emasculating your masculine. Hmm, interesting thought there. All right. Divine Masculine, please. Divine Masculine, please. Okay.
Okay, so this um, week, I see this specific divine masculine could be um, an air sign. Gemini, wait. Am I saying that right? Yeah, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, <clears throat> you could be dealing with, not limited to, they could just be taking on that energy. But um, I do feel like some of you are dealing with the air sign. Regardless, this Divine Masculine this week is seeking out a solution with his Divine Feminine. Seeking out a, a very intellectual solution to this problem that you guys are having. And I feel like that problem is things differently. Um, you know, you wanting physical and emotional touch. You wanting something that is when you don't, whoa. Okay, I feel like it got stuck. So, um, for this Divine Feminine this week, I feel like um, this Divine Masculine is trying to find a certain resolution to make you guys both happy. So it's trying to find a very, he's going deep within, trying to find a good, quick, fast, decisive, but smart solution to a problem of you not being emotionally and physically fulfilled and him being too tired to bring it to you. And majority of the time, 70% of the time, he doesn't even know how to do that. Um, so... I feel like you guys um, get into fights as well in the past, and then you both have different, uh, you both have perceived the fight differently. Like he'll say, you said this, and you're like, no, I didn't. And, and you say, well, you acted this way. And he's like, no, I didn't. So if, if that resonates, then this is for you. So let's see. This is him trying to find a solution. Um, so your relationship can t return to good health because I feel like he's getting the idea, you know, with these two themes at the beginning that you're not emotionally satisfied, okay? So let's get, ooh. Okay, so he is wanting you, he is wanting to bring you happiness. So this week he is going to be working very hard towards that. He is going to be progressing and fighting for you, fighting till the last, um, till that last sword is in the ground. He's not going to stop. He is going to keep trying, meaning if you turn down the first uh, solution that he comes to, like if he comes home and says, hey, um, and tries to kiss you and you just shine away. He's not going to stop. He's going to continue. Okay. Um, you are going to see an unexpected change in him this week. Um, he is going to be still very tired. Still focused on work. However, he is going to put you a little bit. You know, he is going to. Because you're his world. What this is showing me is. Even though he doesn't tell you. Even though. He doesn't always show you all the time. You are his world and his family, and he's going to fight for this. Let's see if we can get any other information. Okay. Okay, so he's going to um, communicate with you and fight for this this week in a way that is going to, um, he knows you feel lonely. He knows that you feel extremely lonely, and so he's going to be removing you from this this week, or he's going to be trying very, very hard to do that with this Nine of Wands. I feel like he's going to try and be more of a gentleman this week. He's going to try and speak lighter to you. He's going to try and change in terms of the way he communicates, per se. Um, he may even try to bring you flowers, is what I see um, for the second time. 
and I do see him kind of um, like he realizes that you're seeing him in the worst light and that he really does love and care for you um, however the way the events occurred it's like he was so tired within the past week that he really couldn't put forth all the effort you wanted him to and maybe he got a little self-indulgent maybe he got a little too you know regressing back into old patterns that you were not okay with and now he's determined to prove to you that he will fight for you he's not stuck he, he has never been stuck when it has come to you and he's ready to bring you out of that abandonment feeling he's ready to open up his heart and not um and physically touch you and treat you like a lady and and speak to you in a gentleman's terms so let's see what's going on for the divine feminine for the couple separated and communicating for this week Bond feminine, please. Okay, so for the Divine Feminine, we have a really good week going on for you guys. Um, you have the Sun, you have the King of Wands, and you have the Queen of Wands. So I feel like um, whatever plans the Divine Masculine has by the end of the week, um, or by the middle of the week, all these, it will come to fruition and it will make you very happy. And you guys will have sex by the end of the week. <clears throat> I also feel like whatever plans you have going on, feminines, whatever um, <clears throat> project you have going on, whatever commitments um, you are about to, it's all about to come to fruition. It's about to, it's all about reaping what you sow. And um, whatever you had planned going on, this amazing idea or project, it is coming forth and you are about to seek the rewards. I also see um, you getting some money that you've been waiting on, either from the government, from a legal battle, from <clears throat> money that was owed to you. Um, there are some wonderful people working in your favor behind the scenes to make sure you get this, to make sure you have... Um, this this money balanced out for you a very friendly loyal person and um, very talented they're probably a little bit older have a little bit more experience than you um <clears throat> somebody that possesses great little leadership skills is going to um bring you this this breakthrough of money that you have been needing that you have been wanting and that was owed to you um i feel like you're going to show you're going to be very grateful for this money this week and this passion that your masculine is going to bring back to you. So by the middle of the week, <clears throat> you are going to be accommodated for what you want. <clears throat> yeah, so whatever you were unsure of, whatever has been keeping you up for the past two or three nights is, is, is going to um, come. <clears throat> Whatever you have been, yeah, you've been full of anxiety about something. I feel like it's been your love life and your money situation. It's been keeping you up at night. I feel like you've been trying to drink or take some sleep aid and it's not been working. So you get a little pissy the next day. Whoa, did you just see that pop up there? Yeah, your new beginning's coming this week. Both financially and in your your emotional um in your relationship whatever was leaving you unfulfilled emotionally whatever was leaving you scared up late at night financially these these two roads both both aspects of your life had you up at night feeling scared and lonely and abandoned and it's all coming to you you're about to have the blessing of a life not only with all this but it's like the sun's gonna come out again and shine again for you. You're gonna get that inspiration back. And it's all because all this is coming to you so you're like, okay, I am on the right path. I am on this new beginning. I am changing with the seasons. Wow. 
<clears throat> see if we can get one more and then we'll do the outcome. I did try to, I did see the uh, um, justice card try to come out. So I do think some, um, you are finally getting some justice feminines that you have been in, in that have been in just for a while. And then we have finally the Ten of Wands. You feel like you've been carrying all this burden on your back. You feel like you've been carrying it all on your own. That you have been raising this child on your own. You've been doing all the finances. And everybody in the background has just been watching you. And now they're going to be cheering you on. You're coming to a completion. Um, and this new moon is going to be fabulous for you. <clears throat> so let's get the... Um, future for the divine masculine in this situation a couple separated and communicating the divine masculine In this situation, um, in this week, the Divine Masculine will be having some anxieties that he's not really going to open up about regarding money. Regarding about if you guys, if he's going to have enough money. He's trying to manage his resources to where he doesn't overspend, to where he can pay the bills and still help you out. But <clears throat> he is majorly, majorly scared about it. Scared he will not have enough. And not telling you the truth about it because he doesn't want to burden you any more than you have to be at this moment because he knows you are very, um, you just got a lot of uh, emotional instability on your plate for whatever is going on. <clears throat> now, he is um, trying to manage his resources, but he is, uh, he is waiting on finances to come in because he wants to take care of you. It's almost like he wants to, um, he's going to get a new job offer and he's going to try and decide. One road is going to be open up a, a load of possibilities that is going to require him to travel um, because of this mountain over here. And then the other one is going to be the same road he's already on, which is, you know, the, the road that's more traveled. He knows what's coming down that road. He knows what to expect. Um, but he feels like <clears throat> if I'm going to be this person, he, it's like he's wanting to offer you a new domesticated way of life like the stay-at-home mom or the Stepford wife. Have you ever seen that? Not like controlling, but like he wants to, all of a sudden he wants to give that to you because he's offered this new job. And before he would have never had the finances to do that. And he's tired of this anxiety, but he's wanting to um, domesticate you and have enough, show you um, a road of, yeah, you, you take care of the home and I'll take care of you for once, okay? So he's kind of waiting around to see if he wants to take this new job offer or not. <clears throat> wow. Let's see if we can get anything else. He is trying to save money because I told you he is full of anxiety. He's tired of feeling that way. He doesn't want to burden you with that because he feels like you're already burdened. And you've done nothing but give, give, give. Yeah, he's not one. He's he's trying not to lose hope in this situation. Hmm. Okay, that's why he's scared. Because he'll be gone more. And with the sun in reverse, he's scared you'll lose hope in this situation because it, he feels like it's already. You already feel lonely. So he feels like it'll turn from sun to dark. I feel like. So he is a little anxious about this. However, he is not um, going to tell you about it. And it does say here that he, by the end of the week, he will come to a very um, 
all of a sudden epiphany and everything will progress forward um, at a fast rate, okay? I do see a lot of passion driven behind it. I don't see much emotions. I just see him um, very passionate about increasing these finances to decrease your fear and his fear and anxiety. So let's see what um, the future holds for the Divine Feminine in this situation. Divine Feminine, separated and communicating is the outcome for this week. Thank you. We have the Two of Pentacles. A lot going on for this Divine Feminine multiple uh, tasks, multiple priorities, multiple jobs, multiple projects she's got going on, and having a very special talent for it. Bringing victory, having success in this project she has going on, being successful in this um, multitasking, being successful in all the hands she has dipped in every bowl. It's like she, whatever she just went through, it did nothing but inspire her, inspire her growth, and so now she's got too many things to handle. What once before, like if you're the person in the last few readings that got fired or um, unexpected, you know, something you had to pay for, now you've got so much going on that you're having to juggle different projects and priorities and, and, um, and you're having great success in it. And you can expect public recognition this week or next. Yes, you're you've um, you're going to be rewarded for the assertive uh, assertiveness that you've had at this time. Everything's going to go start uh, start going your way. You may even have um, an opportunity to work for a new company, and I see that this is going to be very successful. <clears throat> it's going to be a very good company to work for if you're to say yes. I also see you're avoiding a disaster <clears throat> this week by being more indifferent when it comes to emotions, okay? So this is this is telling me um, to avoid a fight, to avoid a disaster, find your inner, inner strength, um, balance out your emotions, and... If you don't want this relationship to have like a big blow up fight this week, don't get over emotional. Don't get overly detached. Okay. Find the balance in your relationship. Find the balance in your emotions. Okay. <clears throat> to avoid a disaster this week with your love. Okay. Because he is trying, he is full of anxiety and he's trying to take some of the pressure out of you and not really communicating to you about this. So it may seem to you that he's being standoffish. He's not. He's actually being accomplished. I mean, not accomplished. Um, compassionate is what I meant um, to you. Um, you really need to focus on your all these projects you have going on, feminine. And he will come to you when it's time. He's trying in the background. And so you need to try and um, avoid this disaster by, by not letting your emotions overtake you this week. By expecting him to come sweep you off your feet every day. Um, by expecting... It's like you expect a, a <clears throat> sweep your off your feet type of romantic message every day. And it's saying don't, don't be expecting of that um, if you want to avoid this big fight, okay? Don't be defensive with the Seven of Wands. Yeah, it says with the, with the text messages going on this, this way, stay away from being overly defensive okay and don't read too much into it if your masculine is being defensive but mainly I see that you are going to be defensive in messages so don't be just try and balance out those emotions and it will all run smoothly and get back on course the way it's really supposed to okay so let's um, see with our love oracle cards how the divine masculine is viewing his feminine today <clears throat> how's the divine masculine viewing his feminine today couple separated and communicating how's the divine masculine viewing his feminine today please spirit okay 
Aw. He's keeping an oh he's keeping an open mind with reconciliation. He's really wanting he feels bad about whatever he did or didn't do, meaning if he didn't show you attention this past week and he sees it on your he sees it with your body language. He sees it with you going to the separate bedroom or turning off your phone or not sending that good night message. You know what I'm saying? He feels it. He see, he sees it. So he's trying to find hope that this reconciliation um that you guys will reconcile, meaning you guys will get through this, okay? He does want you. I just feel like he's he feels a little naked sometime when it comes to his emotions. It's like too raw for him. He can't pick up that communication, you know what I mean? So, Divine Feminine, how are you feeling about your masculine this week? Trying to stay optimistic. That's very good. Positive thinking. And that's good because that will bring you romance. The romance you wanted. How are you viewing him this week? One more card, please. She's, try she's having faith. She's doing her thing. <clears throat> okay, focused on... Uh, the children this week that it met domesticated aspect um, and trying to show the same playful attention to the masculine as she does with her children wanting alone time with the masculine and just having to trust that it will eventually happen uh, you know most likely not this week because you guys got a, a lot on your plate but um, still having faith you got had three faith situation or three faith cards so i see you just having faith that it will return to good health you guys will have your alone time coming up soon i feel like you guys already have plans to to have like a, a kid free time or a retreat or being alone and so you're putting all your trust in this next time you guys will be together and trying to focus on the positive of that situation um and it also says, uh, let your friends help you. So this goes for the masculine and the feminine, I feel like. Um, sometimes our friends energy can kind of bump us out of this stagnant, um, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend energy when you only see each other's point of view. Sometimes a third party, as in a friend, um, will help get you out of this energy, okay? So, <clears throat> I hope this helped. Um, again, I saw a lot of swords energy and a uh, wand energy. So we have Cancer, or I mean, blah, blah, blah. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Highly in this reading. Um, so let me know if this helps you guys. If it resonates, you know, please drop a comment below. And of course, if you want a personal reading, I will leave my link below and I will do a live this week sometime and I will talk to you guys soon. I love, love, love you. Namaste and love you. Bye.